not revenge travel alone that prompts us to look at luggage companies at this stage, although historically luggage sector has a strong correlation with growth in airlines passenger traffic, we are more enthused about the rapid shift in the sector from unorganized to organized, especially since the organized sector is oligopolistic in nature, dominated by three players. What's also interesting and a key driver of margin in earnings will be a shift from trading to manufacturing. We expect strong traction earnings that will support the optically expensive valuation multiples. Near-term headwinds in the form of elevated raw material prices and currency depreciation thanks to imported raw materials could provide a window of opportunity to add stocks like VIP Industries and Safari to your portfolio. Month-on-month, month, air passenger traffic has been improving. With the virus waning and increasing vaccination coverage, travel and tourism is back with a vengeance. Not only in the short term, the medium to long term structural drivers aided by GDP growth, rising income, preference for branded products, increasing propensity to spend on travel, especially by the youth, are all supportive of secular growth for the sector. Q1 has traditionally been the best quarter for luggage companies in the past, thanks to spurt and travel as well as the start of the academic session leading to purchases for schools and even colleges. Major luggage companies like VIP and Safari in normal years derived close to 30% or more of their revenue during this quarter that had completely collapsed in the past two years thanks to the pandemic. With normalcy fast returning to all sectors of the economy, these companies are gearing up for a big first quarter of FY23. Luggage sector has a dominant share of unorganized players. Pre-pandemic, the size of the industry was close to 9,500 crores dominated by unorganized players. Post-GST itself, a value player like Safari, for instance, with its mass brand, wrested market share from unorganized segment as the 18% tax reduced the price gap between entry-level products and the unbranded ones. Safari grew at a CAGR of 24% in the four years prior to the pandemic. The pandemic worsened the plight of unorganized smaller players as liquidity management had become a big challenge. Rising ocean freight costs led to supply disruption and therefore stock shortage. Given the weak demand environment, the spike in raw material costs could not be fully passed on, impacting profitability as well as cash flow. Organized players have started offering replacement warranties, which adds to their attractiveness. Being a three-player market, VIP, Safari and Samsonite will reap the benefit of the shift. There's a strong shift in the market in favor of hard luggage made with high-tech plastics that are lightweight and durable. VIP is seeing a rapid increase in share of hard luggage from 52% of sales in the year-ago quarter to 61% in the last reported quarter. For Safari, the share of hard luggage at the end of FY21 was close to 41%. Needless to mention that hard luggage is manufactured in India, thereby reducing import dependence. Safari, meanwhile, is incurring a capex of 50 crores at Halol to expand its hard luggage capacity. VIP has already set up a sizable capacity in Bangladesh to reduce dependence from China and is also investing 36 crores in Nasik and Sinnar to scale up in-house production to 70% by FY23. In a nutshell, the change in business model from trading, which is essentially importing from China, to manufacturing will have a significantly positive impact on gross margin and earnings going forward. VIP is a much respected brand and has multi-channel presence through wide stock keeping units. It captures varied price points through its offerings across Aristocrat, VIP, Skybag and Carlton and is looking at overseas markets as well. Its own manufacturing gives it a strong edge. Safari's products, meanwhile, fall at the bottom end of the pyramid as they are more of value-for-money products. Apart from Safari, the portfolio also includes other brands like Genius, Genie, Magnum, Activa, Orthofit and Gscape. Safari also adopts multi-channel distribution and has multiple SKUs which make it ready to capture demand as it returns. We expect strong earnings CAGR of 85% for VIP in the next two years, riding not only on improved top line but also on structural transformation in margins as the share of own manufacturing significantly ramps up. Safari is set to ride on gross margin improvement thanks to capacity expansion and top line growth aided by market share gains from unorganized players as well as down trading. We see earnings CAGR of 71% for Safari in the coming two years. The near term, however, doesn't look too rosy for these companies. Given the commodity inflation exacerbated by the geopolitical tension, these companies are likely to witness twin challenges of rising input cost and a weak currency that hurts as they still rely on imported raw materials. Any near term soft patch, therefore, may be a great opportunity to add these luggage companies to the portfolio.